Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And this is a Walther PDP with a five inch barrel. It's an awesome handgun. I've done a cleaning video on it. I've taken it to the range, I've shot it. It's very accurate, it's ergonomic. The recoil is relatively light. But there's one complaint that I'm starting to hear from people on my YouTube video um, or on my YouTube videos that, that it's starting to show up. And apparently these people have contacted Walther and Walther has told them that this is okay. Now I haven't contacted Walther personally about this, but if you have this pistol, I want you to chime in and let me know if your Walther actually suffers from this issue too. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't even notice it until after people pointed this out to me in the video that this gun actually has this issue. So what is it? Okay, so first of all, you can see that we are unloaded, empty chamber, okay? It's a noisy gun, okay? Let's just, doesn't matter if it's loaded, unloaded, mag in, mag out. Doesn't matter how you shake it, left hand, right hand. And the problem that you run into is this amount of play that we have in the slide, okay? There's about an inch of play in the rear, left to right, and also in the front. Really noticeable in the front. Uh, Walther says that this is part of the design. They say that the, well, this is what people are telling me, okay, is that Walther's telling them is that this is part of the design that loose tolerances ensure reliability. I don't, I don't doubt that. I mean, I definitely think that's one way to enhance reliability of a firearm to a point, but then you can start to get debris and stuff in there. Now, me personally, I don't care. I really don't care. It's a great pistol. I'm going to shoot it. It doesn't bother me, but if you're going to pick up a Walther PDP, test it in the store if they'll let you shake it, or just test the slide, the fitting, and see how noisy it is because it might be one of those issues that's just going to drive you nuts. And maybe I shouldn't have pointed this out to you, but if you're going to drop $650 on a handgun, uh, you might be kind of disappointed thinking you're getting some fine crafted Teutonic piece of art when actually you might get something that's got some loose tolerances to it that were designed intentionally, maybe. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give Walther a call and see what they have to say. And hopefully I'll post an update or an answer to see if they tell me that this is normal. I'm not sending it in for repair unless this is a defect, but uh, I just want you guys to know about it. It's something that could bother you. And if you're kind of the person, you're kind of person that little noises like that are just gonna drive you nuts. And this could, you know, really, this could create some noise if you're using it, I don't know, in a combat situation, or you're trying to sneak around or something and you know, it's. It's gonna give away your location. That's maybe something to think about. I don't know, I'm trying to think of little scenarios here. Um, but anyway, that's just uh, something that's been popping up lately. So if you got a noisy PDP, put that down in the video. If you've ever gotten an answer from Walther about that, put that down below in the video, please comment. But just a little word of caution if you're going to pick yourself up a Walther PDP, all right? I want you guys to have fun, be safe, get out to the range to do some shooting. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.